we are going to get Vulcan up and running from scratch, because why not? So, that's pretty much the plan. Is to start playing around with shaders. I'm gonna do an empty project in Visual Studio 2019. First thing we want to do is get a main go and start adding in pieces. So this main we're gonna have it run and check date. Start out by designing these functions, and we'll do them in a just to keep the main nice and clean. Oh, we need to run it. Probably just want to use one of the samples. Just keep the shaders again. Fine. Let's not see it. We shouldn't have to do this. Guess if we have to. It still says it doesn't see it though. I think we're gonna do our shaders in a different way entirely. We're just gonna load the binaries. We don't need like any of this stuff. Well, it's written somewhere. Display this right here. And return something. Fail to read on our shader inspected. Consider we have to settle that up. But it should be pretty. What we're gonna do is run spur v these two shaders. Use the files. Quick break. Should go to the output directory, shouldn't it? Their interface's code is on GitHub, which is still down. But, uh, should I? Solution platform config. See if that works. Some other code here. I think I got this written some. I think I have it in a CMake code. Binary code. It's getting dicked up. Okay, we probably need. So rarely use try catch. Hooray! Ah. Are we done? All right, now we can start playing around with the shaders because that's what we're here to do. Yeah, we'll try to get the crater next time, or one of these. You can just kind of get any of them from Shader Toy any sort of cool example working. That means we can move forward to even more stuff. Just to make our own. And what next? Game engine? Alright, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day or evening. Till next time. Peace.